State, local, and federal governments require the ability to track and monitor ongoing global events, determine whether those events will have a negative impact upon their citizens and critical infrastructure assets, and quantify the effects of unfortunate events that occur. In doing so, governments are enabled to dynamically identify and mitigate these threats to their communities and ensure the safety and well-being of their citizens. In this scenario, we are leveraging the Global Database of Events, Language, and Tone, or GDELP for short, to identify events in proximity to United States critical infrastructure assets. GDELT is a continuously curated dataset that monitors the world's broadcast, print, and web news from nearly every corner of every country in over a hundred languages. Events that meet a set of negative tone criteria are captured and streamed into Kinetica for instantaneous geospatial analysis. As an event lands in Kinetica, its attribution is evaluated to determine its type such as a bombing, armed assault, or hijacking, and whether the event is a threat or successful attack. A proximity buffer is then generated around the event location. The size of the buffer is determined by the event's type. For instance, an event that is categorized as bomb or explosive is given a 20km buffer, whereas an event that is categorized as an unarmed assault is given a 2.5km buffer. A large corpus of 3.9 million U.S. critical infrastructure assets sourced from Homeland Security are then compared to the active event buffers. The status of the assets that intersect the buffers are changed to elevated or severe depending on whether the event is a threat or successful attack. Near real-time aggregations are then calculated to reflect the number of active events, their type, and the number of lives they've adversely impacted over the duration of the event. Additional computations expose the total threatened portfolio of critical infrastructure assets by category, their current status, and the total observed property damage in U.S. dollars. To fully grasp the magnitude and distribution of active events and the assets they are threatening, we can view them in a geographic context. As we explore the threatened infrastructure map, we can see assets symbolized with two unique colors. Assets in yellow have an elevated threat status, whereas assets in red have a severe threat status. We can display the assets underlying the attribution, such as category and subcategory, by viewing their pop-up. Similarly, to interrogate the events themselves, we can examine their buffers to view the groups responsible, the lives impacted, and property damage they've caused. The interconnectedness of the charts, maps, and graphs enables us to cross-filter our view to more effectively understand the situations at hand. Combining these front-end capabilities and back-end automation, we can highlight the most severely threatened and most vulnerable people and assets at any given time, which in turn enables the effective alerting of decision makers and first responders. In this demonstration, we highlighted Kinetica's unique ability to evaluate and stream high-velocity global event data, perform instantaneous geospatial analysis against massive collections of spatial data, and calculate aggregations to provide decision-makers with near-real-time insights that mitigate threats and save lives.